We're back on Smells Like 90s Rock. It's Hot Toddy, and it's Sheila Hot Toddy, DJ Pork. And uh, Sheila's cat is screaming for sex behind the door at the moment. Mm -hmm. And it's gross. It's very... Because in this room is only me and the mean cat. Right. (laughs) And the mean cat's staring at the door like, what is wrong with this person? Yeah, it's it's very unsettling, I'm not going to lie. She's like, doesn't she know that I hate her? Why is she trying to get me to have sex with her? Right. Is he fixed? But, yeah. The other oh. one, yeah. <clears throat> the mean cat, Hermione, is fixed. It's Maga who's not. Because Maga, even though she was old enough, she's so small that, like, um, she couldn't get fixed right when she aged. So they're like, okay, so we want to fix her in January. Well, when January came around, you started having all the COVID stuff and school started. So I was like, okay, I'll get it done in February. And that's my bad. I just didn't get done in February. So I was like, all right, March will be fine. But then all this happened. And so now she's just a little sex machine. Clamoring for sex is what she's doing now. She needs it bad. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. And I mean, I always thought the cats could only go in heat in the summer, but apparently not, because like even in the winter, she was like, "Give me it!" Oh no, no, we we got the only cat I've ever seen do this was was my parents' house cat we had back when I was in middle school. Well, actually, she lived through my middle school, high school, and college. How old was she when she died? She was fifteen. She was fifteen when she died, <clears throat> and um, yeah. What? Yeah, she yeah she was she was born alive from O two to seventeen. I'm pretty sure she was alive for and um, but we got her in the fall of the year and by winter she was that yeah she was already backing that thing up. So I mean, mm-hmm. it was unsettling to say yeah, the least. Yeah, it's just like she went through a lot of history. That's not many cats can say that. Well, I mean. We had three cats uh, during the new when the new millennium struck, and uh, one lived to be sixteen, one lived to be fifteen, and the third one in the litter is still alive, and he's going to be sixteen this year. Good God! Yeah, my parents take good care of cats. I tell you. I mean, my dogs had lived amazingly long right now i have a 19 year old geriatric dotson i'm taking care of well yeah um i don't know so it's just animals live a long time if they're not in in pork's house right <laughs> well wait how old you you said your dog's 19 the one i inherited from my dad the the um dotson's 19 so what seven years and dog years that's so that your dog is like 130. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I mean, blind, deaf, derpy, but still going. Hey, you know, <laughs> blind, deaf, and <laughs> derpy is better than being dead. I'm not sure. And then my other. If you're blind, huh? Derpy and 130. If you're blind, deaf, and derpy and 130, how good can life be? You know what? We when we got him, we thought, okay, well, he's eighteen. He's not going, and he was so just sort of lax. Day school, we're like, all right, we're just gonna make that his end day is good. And like we brought him to the house, and like every animal, he comes in, he's like a puppy again. He's like running around, like he never walked fast at my dad's house. Is always like ER, like do do do. We get him here, and he's just like running around and just. Ugh. They just needed to be yeah. around other animals is all it was. Yeah, so our house has some sort of, like, longevity energy. Mm-hmm. So um, he'll be here because our other cat, um, our oldest cat's nine. Well, our two oldest cats are nine. Um, so, yeah, we're going we, We're going to have a horde for a very long time, and our, old, our other dog's ten. So. Mogget. I like that our listeners are going to hear Mogget. Mogget yelling dramatically mm-hmm. for some for some lovins and mm-hmm. some penetration. Um, but, it's but a, that's that's one of the hot button topics: Corona babies. How many kids are going to come out of this quarantine that we're in? 
there was and for me because I ain't want no more. Yeah, one's good. I'm done. Same, nothing, nothing here. We're all good. Everything's fine. Um, it doesn't about me. Well, I mean, we don't know. We don't know your life. I mean, that girl could be like, you have nice elbows. Oh. And I come over pork. What girl? I like what? you. You're so nice. You want to have sex? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that girl. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. That girl. Yeah. And she'd be like, you have good elbows. Mm-hmm. I pay attention to elbows. <laughs> As we learn, she plays. She pays close attention to elbows mm-hmm. more than most people. She, she she remembered none of that. That was that was so scary that when I actually told her about it because she seemed like she was actually like collect starting to collect herself the last few when I was when I dropped her off, but she didn't remember like, like a three or four hour clock. In time. I mean, to me, it's just amazing that she got that drunk at work. Yeah, that's- like. How you would let yourself at work get to that point is what I'm like, what? Yeah, right. Because, like, you're supposed to not, like, get that drunk at work. You shouldn't get that drunk, period, to the point where you're coming on to people that you wouldn't come on to. So I, I guess there's... Well, there's, I'm sure that's pretty much how, like, happens every week at a bar. Well, so that part, I'm like, I get that to some extent. But yeah. But when you're at work, you got you to gotta do your church decorum. Your church decorum. Mm-hmm. Hey, leave plenty room. Leave plenty. Take that witch. Go ahead. Leave plenty of room for the Holy Ghost. Is that what you're saying? Mm-hmm. Okay.